What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to our channel. So today, we're gonna go ahead and vlog the day and bring you guys along with us. Today, we are getting a uh, COVID test because tomorrow, wait, yeah, Wednesday, Mateo is getting a MRI. <clears throat> So he's actually getting a sedated MRI, um, you know, just to follow up on, for those that know um, and remember, Mateo got a surgery about six months ago, a decompression surgery of his foreman magnum because of um, the compression on the back of his head. Um, so they're just going to follow up with it. I mean, I think he's doing great. He looks great. So they're going to do a sedated MRI tomorrow early in the morning and today you know we gotta go get covid tested and things like that so we can go and uh, be there with him tomorrow uh but yeah so they have to do a sedated mri because this mri they cannot move at all like they have to be super still and any little movement um or like you know it'll it won't get the image correct so we've done these before and we've tried doing it without him being sedated and it just didn't work out and we had to do it all over again and come back and redo it and things like that so this is the best um thing to get an accurate image and that's what we're gonna go with so before we get started or before we get more into today's vlog make sure if you're new to hit that subscribe button throw a thumbs up on this video Hit that little bell to get notified every time we post a new video because you know we have fun over here we post some cool cool fun family content and um we want you to be part of the family so uh yeah that's what we got going on it is about 9 50 it's about to be 10 in the morning camila is at school right now um i'm drinking some coffee jen is in the room trying to put my tail back to sleep he already woke up we're just trying to put him back to sleep so she can get ready and we can go head out and get to it and get our day started so yeah that noise you hear is the little robot vacuum cleaning up the house and stuff like that um but yeah so i already did my morning uh my morning uh chores like i fed the dogs i fed the turtles i fed fed canelo and i still haven't fed myself though but um yeah that's what we got going on for today so uh yeah, if you guys are interested and want to keep watching more, then stay tuned because we're going to be uh, vlogging today. Let's see what we get into. And uh, um, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, the wifey's up and getting ready to start the day. Sheesh, girl, what you making right here? I'm going to make me a chai matcha um, latte. latte, ice latte. Mm. Um, I've been, I love, I, um, Erica, she introduced me to it in Washington from Starbucks, and I was like, I'm gonna try making it at home. And so I've been making it, and it's so good. All right, let's show them. Mm. So, what do you put in here? What? Oh, here's the stuff coconut milk, uh, matcha, mm. and then chai tea. Look at that. So I have my tea right here. Now, put some ice. Look at that. She got the drink to match the drip. Look at that. She look at this sexy mama. There you go. You're looking. Sex. So today is Dwarfism Awareness Day. That's why I'm I did not even mention that earlier. And I'm not even wearing green. Look at me. Yeah guys, so today is October 25th and it's Dwarfism Awareness Day. So I'm wearing my green, you know, representing my babies. Um I'm proud to be a mom of two kids who were born with dwarfism achondroplasia which is the most common type of dwarfism which is what christian has as well and yeah guys so wear your green and october the whole month of october is dwarfism awareness month so not only today but every day you guys can you know um when you guys hear someone talking about a little person saying the m word or making fun of people or calling um somebody the m word or whatever you remember education is key let's educate let's not be part of the um uneducated and the bullies um it all starts with us um so yeah educate your kids 
like she mentioned guys it all starts at home educate your kids let them know you know there's di people with differences no matter if they're little big whatever the case may be but just teach them you know that everyone is different educate them um let them know you know that god made them this way and things like that um but yeah i just think it's good because you know so i mean it's normal for kids to be curious and you know also parents to be curious that have never met someone with dwarfism or things like that but you know there's always like a right way to approach someone or to um you know to approach someone that has dwarfism so you know it's good to educate and um yeah guys so that i didn't even throw on my green shirt i just literally threw it's because i woke up kind of early so i just threw on this shirt and um nice. got ready so i'm about to throw something green on right now literally i'm the little person of the family and i don't even have my green on but yeah you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and uh change put something green on um because october is dwarfism awareness month the 25th is dwarfism awareness day but all month of october you know sh wear some green show support um and thanks to everyone who's been showing love you know all of our friends who are not little people have been showing love and posting on their like social medias and just bringing awareness you guys that is super dope it feels great and um yeah you guys so uh that's what we got going on and oh look at that that looks crazy how crazy super super de duper guys i don't mind the message i'm organizing we're fixing um our studio room and i had to bring some stuff out here so don't mind it. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell them that. But yeah, we've been fixing up our little studio room over there because we are organizing our merch area because um we had a bunch of stuff in that room and we wanna clean it up, make it nice and neat so we can have our merch uh organized so we can get it out to you guys. So um yeah, if you guys want to get merch, go ahead and go to our website, thegarciafamily.com. V has two E's, just how it's spelled here on YouTube, thegarciafamily.com. If the store is closed, the website is closed, um, that means we're organizing stuff or fixing stuff on the website. But um, there's a uh, little section on there where you can put your email and it'll notify you right when we open up the store. So... Um, you guys could be the first to grab uh, the new merch. So um, thank you guys to everyone who's been showing support. And yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So I did go, went ahead and um, changed shirts real quick so I could have the green on for today. You know what I'm saying? And I got this hat on, got the green brim, got the green shirt. And then I just got some black pants with some black and white shoes. But this is the fit for today. Um, ooh, swagging, swagging. Now we're officially uh, got the dwarfism awareness colors on for today and uh, ready to hit the streets and let these people know that we run this. No, I'm just fine. But yeah, you guys, thanks for everyone who's been showing love. And um, yeah, let's get the day started and I'm going to spa la calle. And here is Mateo. That's ready, puppy. I'm going to spa la calle. Mateo's ready. Look at his drip. Look at his drip. He got the green on, the camo with the white nike air forces on oh here 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 here's the wallet here's the wallet but he's ready to rock man i was looking everywhere for this shoe it was lost it was in the car but we found him out there already yeah i'm gonna say like yeah i'm gonna say like yeah diles pon un thumbs up in this video say put a thumbs up on this video let me see thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up yeah everybody go thumbs up on this video let's go i'm gonna Oh, no. All right, guys, so we went to get the COVID test, but their system was down. So they said to come back in like about 30 minutes. So um, we came to the 99 cent store and I'm going to get some stuff that I'm going to need because I'm actually going to be making. I think it's blurry. OK, I think I'm well, actually, I'm going to be making or should I say I'm going to attempt to make <laughs> Mateo's Halloween costume. Um, so i'm nervous and excited because if i like pull it off i'm gonna be happy because i'm like oh, i made his costume but if i don't pull it off i'm gonna be sad because he's not gonna have a costume um but yeah i have to get some like buttons or clips um i'm gonna see if they have them at the dollar store usually they do have them 
um, and then I need um, some acrylic paint or any kind of paint just to finish up the costume and I'm gonna buy some shirts um, it says to buy fabric but I'm just gonna buy like a big shirt and use that fabric I mean I don't need a lot uh, so yeah I'm excited so we'll see you guys right now all right I knew I might be able to find it here now let's see if they actually oh they have buttons but I need the clips oh right here see those clips right there that's what I need oh wait let me see there we go those are the clips that I need and I actually need elastic and they have it here as well I knew it, I knew it. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Oh, you know, so check this out. Oh, so if you know, you know. Um, we did a video on these soups a while ago. It was like a challenge video. Bull Dak Spicy Ramen, super spicy. Um, but it just became a regular thing in our household now. We just have these because um, sometimes we just crave them and we don't do it as challenges no more we do it as thing and we just eat them because we actually enjoy these um they have the two times spice this yeah. is the one you always see like on social media like people yeah doing, those we don't eat on the <laughs> people doing like uh people doing like the uh the challenges with these these are the brand those are um, really those these, are really spicy these are, the these are spicy but not that spicy and they have these at our local nine medicine store and then i just found this one too because jen likes to add cheese on her so they we just found this yeah one i'm gonna that, try that one has. but yeah these have replaced um the maruchans the top ramens that we used to eat we do not eat these off often so don't judge us and stuff but yeah but when we do too. crave these we definitely eat these but yeah these are like these are Ooh, delicious look at this. what are those Seaweed. seaweed spicy seaweed let's take it i'm down anything japanese like snacks or foods like i love i love 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 so um, yeah this is what we got going on i got a couple of them to try them out well we already know how these are like but this one we've never tried what jen's never tried i don't add cheese to none of my stuff so jen might jen might enjoy this one but uh, this one is a uh, hot and spicy crispy seaweed we're gonna try this one. Oh, this is the one i I got this one the other day. It's actually really good. It's a, like a tempura uh, seaweed. It's a super good snack too. But I think we're not going to get that one today. Oh, look at this one. This is a it's one. really good, but oh, not good enough to get it again. What is this one? Just original <laughs> flavor? No, no, no. It's good, but um, we already have enough <laughs> stuff. But yeah, we want to try some of these. But um, yeah, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that man the sun beaming through that window is a paid actor look at this dude all right guys so we ended up getting some chick-fil-a uh we did not get covid test done because the system was still down and we we're like you know what this ain't gonna ruin our day we're gonna order some chick-fil-a christian not me yeah me and then my dad look at him munching away sheesh my boy slow it down slow it down but I accidentally got the spicy grilled chicken. Wait, do you want to trade? Nice. I could trade you. I like spicy. What is mine then? Yours is the chicken nugget grilled. Is this what you wanted? No, I wanted the grilled chicken, but without the spiciness. Oh. Because it's actually pretty spicy. Oh wow. Oh wow. Well, look at that though. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at the, look at how the sun's beaming through. This looks like a, like a Chick Fil A ad. Hold on, let me do a little. Slow motion montage for you guys. Hold on, hold on. Y'all ready? Check this out. All right, you guys. So what I didn't mention earlier, we also uh, got this thing right here from the from the dollar store, and I wanted to try it out right here on camera with you guys. So this is a um, tapatio flavored pickle. I seen these on TikTok and stuff, and people are trying these out. Um, but I came across this at the 99 cent store when we were over there earlier, and I do like pickles actually. And I wanted to, and I like tapatio, and I wanted to go ahead and try this out, uh, see what it tastes like. So let's check it out. Let me see. Go ahead and open this. Let me smell it first. 
Mmm. Vinegary. It tastes like, I mean, it smells like a regular pickle. And vinagre. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Smells a bit weird. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. <clears throat> okay, so uh, first, first taste, um, not so good. Second taste, not so good. It's not good. Uh oh. Oh no. All right, so let me explain with this. Hold on, let me put this away. Uh. <clears throat> so it tastes like... I don't know, it tastes weird. It kind of tastes like the plastic of that thing. Like, I don't know, it tastes like plastic. It is kind of spicy. You could taste the spiciness. But it doesn't taste good. It has like a weird, like, fake taste, if that even makes sense. Uh, I, I'd rather eat a... A regular pickle, uh, the kosher deals, uh, vinegar, velastic ones. Those are pretty good. Uh, but uh, that was not good. I like tapatio, and I like pickles, but that was not it. Um, the flavor was very. I don't know. It tasted like plastic. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of weird to explain. But it wasn't good. Um, yeah, that was disappointing. Mm, that was disappointing. Oh yeah, and we did end up eating the seaweed. Oh, babe, let me see. Is there still some in there? Babe? Ah. Is there still some seaweed in there or no? Yeah. We did try those and those were actually really good. <clears throat> so these are the the other ones that we tried. The seaweed that I got. It's like a little spicy flavor. Um, These, now these are bomb. We usually buy the regular seaweed from Costco, like the big packs. And the difference between these and those, besides these being spicy, like the texture on these are a lot thicker, so it's like chewy, and it's not like crunchy, flaky, like like the other ones, the, like you bite it when it breaks. These like, it's more chewy, the texture is nice. I like these a lot, actually. Mm, I recommend these. They're super good. But yeah, guys, that's kind of what we got over there, and um, yeah. Hi you guys, so um, we already went to get COVID tested, the system was finally up, uh, Mateo just woke up right now from the nap, Camila just got home from school, um, she ended up eating Mateo's fries, you know what I'm saying, but she's about to eat something right now too, um, and she's about to do homework, um, but yeah you guys, I think this is it for today's vlog, um, we're gonna kind of just hang out here, chill, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm not sure to brother. And we also took a nap as well. Right when we uh, finished eating, we knocked out in the room. Uh, we were watching a show. We were watching a waiting show. Waiting a little bit. And we had I know, literally. So we're, after we finished eating, Simon, we were watching a show, like waiting till the time went by so we can go get our COVID test done. And uh, we just knocked out. Fell asleep and then picked up, we picked up coming up from school and then Mateo just woke up. So we're gonna go ahead and close out the video right here. Uh, we're just gonna hang out at home. <laughs> Mommy, we're just gonna hang out right here at home um, and chill. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys give a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you click subscribe if you're new. And uh, don't forget to remind yourself every day and say, I am beautiful. beautiful. We, we love, love you guys. guys. So today is the next day and it is currently 6 a.m. and we are on our way to um, to Kaiser to get Mateo his MRI. Uh, he had to he has to check in at 6:30. Um, we've been on the road for about 10 minutes already. Um, so yeah, my poor baby, he's been crying since like three or four in the morning because he wanted to eat but I can't feed him um, I had the
the last meeting had to be at 2 30 in the morning and so right now he's awake i have him watching um our tiktok videos because that's the only way i could get him to calm down i feel so bad my poor baby um but yeah guys so we're on our way um and we'll see you guys there Oh, oh, early did they wake you up? Oh, he's happy boy. Oh, he's happy boy. Oh, he's happy boy. <laughs> uh huh. No, he hasn't slept. Oh, he hasn't slept. He's been crying because he wants to eat. Of course. Of course. What did he do? Hearing your vision problems. I know. Give me kind of a look. I don't know. You guys are being bad. Oh, bubbles. Papa. Oh, it's really delicious. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we are here with Mateo. Um, they just gave him the medicine to like make him um, drowsy and sleepy, I guess. Um, they already put numbing cream on his hand because they're going to put the IV in there. But they're trying to make him, well they give him that medicine to where like makes him drowsy and tired and sleepy. So he can be calm and good to go. Um, they are doing two MRIs, two x-rays or whatever um, on his spine and on his skull. So we'll see how long that takes. And um, yeah, this is him right now. It's the, the medicine's kind of kicking in. You can kind of tell a little bit, but he's good. He's chilling. Get this, get this, get this. Chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> they have a little tablet right here to distract him. Peek-a-boo. So, yeah, he's doing good. Um, they said it should take about 15, about 15 minutes for the medicine to start kicking in. It's been about five or so. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of hanging out till then. Till he gets a little drowsy and they're going to take him. Hopefully he takes a little nap and they take him while he's sleeping so he doesn't. Um, but I think he's going to be good though. Because look at him. Look at him. He's teasing me. <laughs> La boca no, no, <laughs> no, no. La boca no. <laughs> no. La boca no, 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 no. No. La boca no. <laughs> No, la boca no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, la boca no. So we're just gonna go ahead and hang out until um, it's time for him to go in. And I think they're only gonna let Jen go into the other room or something like that. That's what they were kind of saying. I'm not too sure. But yeah, so. Um, I think it should take about an hour or a bit longer i'm not sure i'll update you guys once no. i know for sure but um that's kind of what's going on right now he seems to be in a really good mood he was flirting with the nurses and just having a blast so hopefully he stays this way right up there legacy puppy you guys so i came to the cafeteria um i'm waiting on jen over here they only allowed one person to go with mateo to i guess to the room where they're gonna put start the anesthesia and all that the anesthesia um so i came down here to the cafeteria i'm just waiting on her to come once they talk once they give her the okay um but yeah so i i'm here just waiting for her to come and uh yeah so 
Um, he looked pretty calm. He was good. He was, uh, I think the little medicine that he drank started doing effect. Uh, they put an IV in his hand. They attempted to put one in his foot, but, you know, they didn't find the little vein or whatever. They couldn't, um, do it. So, they did it in his hand. But he did really well. When they were doing the one in his foot, he actually made no noise. He literally didn't feel it. He wasn't, so that was good. But then again, they had to redo it on his hand. And, um, yeah, but he did, uh, kind of fuss a little bit when they did his hand. But after that he was good He's been doing great He's been kind of like happy Just kind of like flirty And um uh, But yeah he's doing good So um This should take about They said about an hour To an hour 30 Because he's gonna um They're gonna do two um MRIs So it's gonna be on his skull And on his spine And um Yeah so It should take about a, They said about an, From an hour to Like an hour To an hour 30 Um So I mean it should go Quick Hopefully but yeah you guys so um i'll get back to you guys when jen's here all right you guys he's out guys but he's still asleep maybe that was super quick actually so he's already um out of the uh, mri and he is sleeping my boy um we're just waiting for him to wake up on his own and um and we'll be able to go but they said everything went well and he just kind of has light oxygen right now but um other than that he's good it was super quick it was a lot quicker than we thought um but yeah he's we're just waiting for him to wake up oh he's waking up guys he's ready to eat guys so we just woke up just woke up and um, he's breastfeeding. Yay! So that's good news. Um, yeah, we'll see how he does with that. And then we'll head home soon. Alright, you guys. So we're finally home. Mattel and Jen fell asleep in the room. They're knocked out. They were super tired. Jen and Mattel actually been up since 3 a.m. Because, um... You know, you can't feed. I mean, Mateo can't eat anything. Like a couple, I don't know, how, I forgot how many hours before the actual uh, sedation. Like when they um, and put the anesthesia on him. So he was, he had woke up for feeding at 3 a.m. And obviously Jen can't feed him. So he was fussy and he was up. And that's usually how she puts him back to sleep. With, by breastfeeding him. But since she couldn't feed him... We kind of like, she kind of turned on the TV, trying to distract him, um, trying to get his mind off of being hungry, I guess. And um, yeah, he didn't go back to sleep. He was awake the whole time till the, we went to the doctors and things like that. And so they were both super, super tired. And obviously, Mateo, you know, he was um, under anesthesia. So when he wakes up, he's still super, not like super exhausted and tired and sleepy and cranky and just a bunch of emotions everywhere so um they are both resting right now they fell asleep let them energize themselves back up um i'm feeling good i'm i'm good um uh, camila is at school and um yeah that's kind of it for today's vlog um but everything went super wit super well uh, we don't get the results back till uh, I think in about a week or something like that. Um, but they said, I mean, everything went well. Uh, Mateo's doing good and um, we're stoked. So this was his six month follow up MRI for his surgery that he got six months ago. For those that know, know. And for those that don't, he got a uh, decompression surgery. It's called a uh, foramen magnum stenosis. Um, he had compression like on the back in between his skull and his spine they removed a little bit of bone because there was pinching and it was uh, causing him pain and things like that so they did a surgery it went well he's recovered extremely well and even today like the lady was like um, the nurse was saying that he was gonna take about an hour or something to wake up from the anesthesia because they were like oh we'll just wait till he wakes up on his own you know and then I don't know, he just kind of woke up. I mean, you could tell his eyes were a little heavy and things like that. But he was ready to breastfeed. He was, my, my poor boy was hungry. Um, 
he started breastfeeding and then they were just like all right he's good and you guys are ready to go so just like that literally oh and i, I don't think we mentioned so right when we left when they took him i mean when uh jen went to, uh with him to get the anesthesia as soon as his eyes were getting kind of heavy and um, he was starting to fall asleep, she left the room, came down with me. We hung out in the lunch area in the cafeteria of the hospital for about 10 minutes. And then we, she was talking about Starbucks. So I was like, like, let's go get Starbucks. Like, So we had to leave the hospital because I was like, they said it's going to take about an hour and a half. So let's go leave the hospital. We left the Starbucks, literally drive through. We were picking something up and then they she got a missed call from the hospital and she's like oh my god the guy and you know jen she's just started like kind of panicking like oh my god do you think he's out already you think and me being the calmer like you know like i was like babe relax like i don't think he's out yet we literally he literally just fell asleep we barely came over here like they're probably just gonna call you to i don't know let you know something so she heard the voicemail and they were like all right um Mateo is out of the uh, MRI. He's already done. We we're like, oh my God. So we like rushed back and then we got there real quick because we're already on the way. So we got there and then, yeah, Mateo was just still kind of like sleeping. And yeah, it was super, super quick. A lot quicker than we thought it was going to be. But we're super stoked about that. I mean, he's doing well. He's doing great. They're just going to get rest now. So, uh, yeah, you guys, I think I'm going to close out the vlog right here. I'm going to go pick up Camila from school in a bit. And, uh, yeah, you guys, comment down below what was your favorite part of this vlog. Ask us any questions you have down below. We'll try to answer them. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. It does help out our channel grow. Um, share this video. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the little bell to be notified every time we post a new video. And that is it from us, you guys. So like we always say, don't forget to remind yourself every day and say, I am beautiful. We love you guys.